Secretary of State Mike Pompeo is traveling on what is likely to be one of his final tours as the chief U.S. diplomat, heading to France, Turkey, Georgia, Israel, the United Arab Emirates, Qatar, and Saudi Arabia. The trip comes just days after this exchange in the State Department briefing room about Joe Biden being projected as president-elect last Saturday. Is the State Department currently preparing to engage with the Biden transition team? And if not, at what point does a delay hamper a smooth transition? There will be a smooth transition to a second Trump administration. All right, we're, we're ready. The, the world is watching what's taking place here. We're going to count all the votes. When the process is complete, there'll be electors selected. There's a process. The Constitution lays it out pretty clearly. Biden chuckled when he was asked about Pompeo's comments. <laughs> Secretary of State Pompeo. Biden dismissed concerns that President Donald Trump has refused to concede and said he has held congratulatory talks with a number of allied leaders across the world, including the leaders of France, Germany, Australia, and South Korea. Well, first of all, uh, I'm letting him know that America's back. Uh, we're going to be back in the game. It's not American alone. Another of the leaders Biden spoke with is British Prime Minister Boris Johnson, a close ally of Trump who was asked if he had any advice for his friend who is refusing to concede. Prime Minister. Well, uh, Mr. Speaker, I had uh, and have a good relationship with the previous president. I, I, I do not resile uh, from that. It is the duty of all British prime ministers to have a good relationship uh, with the White House. Experts say some in the diplomatic community are perplexed by Pompeo's refusal to acknowledge the election results and start the transition process and that this trip abroad will not be a victory lap for him. I think Secretary Pompeo will have somewhat of a lame duck status himself. Um, most countries and diplomats I've been talking with, they're more interested in talking to the incoming team and not the one that's outgoing. Biden has pledged to rejoin the Paris Climate Change Accord and the Iran nuclear deal, among other expected major shifts. Cindy Sane, VOA News. Washington.